In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a free QR code using any link, any URL that you would like to be able to use in any way that you like. And obviously you'll be able to customize this as well as you go. So the one that I like to use is called QR code monkey. So we type in QR code monkey, hit enter, and just click on this first one that we've come across. And this is it here. So it's super easy. The first thing you need to do is know where you want your QR code to go. So when somebody scans the code, what is going to happen? And in this particular case, we want it to go to a particular URL or to a web page. What I'm going to do is just come across here to my example website that I've got, and I'm going to grab the URL that I want to use. So in this particular example, I want to use this how did we do page. And I'm going to right mouse click on the view button and click copy link address, return back into here, delete their URL that they've got and hit control V to paste in the link that we want. Now you can put any link at all here to any website. It doesn't matter. This is just the one that I'm using for this particular example. And then we can work through the options. So set colors, you can have everything to be completely black. If you've got a um, custom colors, you can actually set those custom colors based on your particular branding. You can slide around and just pick random colors as you would like to um, make it as pretty as you would like. I'm just going to keep everything black for now, but you know that the options are there if you need it. You can set gradient colors, which means you can have like this one here with the blue and black. Um, and you can have a custom eye color as well. So that's changing these bits here in the middle. I'm not going to get fancy with all those things for today. Just want a single color and I'm going to keep it black. You can change the background color as well. I'm just going to keep it white, keep everything simple. There is an option here where you can add a logo image and that will appear directly in the middle here. If I just select one of these for the sake of it, it will show you just to show you what will happen. And let's go custom design. It's going to show you all of these selections we're making once we've generated our code. So I know you're not seeing those updates straight away. You can choose different types of um, styles, I guess, and, you know, find one that matches your branding. Again, with the frame shape, have a little play around. You can get as fancy as you like with these. It really doesn't matter. It's all just going to come down to the look and feel that you're going for and just click create QR code and you'll be able to see now it's added that logo that I selected from in here. You can upload your own logo so you don't have to just use from these ones here. It's added the different styles that I chose and added everything in black. And what I'm going to do now is just remove this logo and change this custom design back to something a little bit more standard just for the sake of it create the QR code again, and you'll see it's updated it with those changes I've made. So now you can go ahead and test that with your smartphone and make sure that it's working that make sure that it's working the way you would like to. From here, you can download it as a PNG or as one of these file types as well, depending on what you want to do with it and how competent you are, I guess, with making changes. So for example, if you download the SVG file, you'll be able to open that up in certain editing programs, and then you can play around with it, change colors and things like that and edit away as you see fit. But for these purposes, I'm just going to click on download PNG and it's going to show us this ad because obviously we're using a free version and they need to get their, um, their money in somehow. So they've got some paid ads showing and that's fine. We can just ignore those and click on the exit there. So now you've got your file that you've downloaded, uh, your QR code, sorry, you can add that to um, a poster, a flyer, a business card, anywhere you like basically where people can scan that and you can direct them to it wherever it is that you're directing them to go.